It's our honor, this is our 24th year of Turning Points running the Manatee County Veterans Stand Down. And we are excited to have over 35 providers out here today providing services for our local veterans and other neighbors in need. And so this is what it's all about, helping one person one at a time. Again, the Veterans Stand Down, first and foremost, is about serving our heroes that served us. Secondly, we also invite other neighbors in need to come. So you will, we do have veterans and non-veterans both here at our stand down, but we really make sure that our veterans are taken care of today. The community that provides services to the veterans and cares about our veterans really comes all out for this event. We start about six months out, and that's only because we've been doing it for 24 years. So we have a pretty good system down, but it takes a whole community to put this event together. Again. 38 vendors, I believe, is the number we ended with, but it takes, you know, we have about 30 people on the committee alone just to get everything together, to get rolling. We have about 200 volunteers here today as well, so it definitely takes a whole lot of folks coming together with love in their hearts to put this event on for our community. It's about services, but it's also about the community. It's our opportunity to connect with our veterans and hopefully reduce the barriers that are keeping these heroes on the streets and so we're we're here to make connections today we're not going to solve everyone's issues today but hopefully they can find agencies services connections where they can continue to receive help ongoing turning points where our focus is on helping prevent homelessness as well as serving those who are already experiencing homelessness. We have a free medical and dental clinic at Turning Points, completely free every single time, 100% free. And that's for individuals who have no insurance, who are 18 to 64, income eligible and Manatee County residents. And I would sit in that dental chair myself any day of the week. Our providers are incredible. We have housing services. The majority of those housing services that rental and utility assistance is keeping people in their homes so that they don't end up homeless. And we serve typically about 2,000 individuals through that program when we look at families and children, keeping them housed by providing them a little hand up if they fall behind. And so we uh, provide those housing services and then we also provide services for individuals experiencing homelessness right now. And that's a rapid rehousing program to get them into, homeless, into housing out of homelessness and to get supportive services. And then we have our day services. So those day resource center is mostly for people experiencing homelessness. It's hot meals, hot showers, it's being able to get clothes, being able to get haircuts, having their mail sent to turning points. We have a whole mail room so you can consistently get your mail in a safe place. And we offer 22 services in our day resource center alone. Amnesty Court is one of our most beloved services that we offer here at the Veterans Stand Down because we have the court right here on site seeing people today who have fines and court costs that are stacking up. 
when you get a court cost that you can't pay, the fines keep on growing, and then they lose their ability to have a driver's license. There can be other things that they're not able to do because of that. And so today, they can sit with a judge one-on-one, -on -one, our veterans, it is for veterans only, and plead their case. And there are tens of thousands of dollars of court costs and fines that will be waived right here today. And those individuals can then go straight out and get a driver's license reinstated for them. And we give out about 700 bicycles a year. Manatee County is not the most walkable, friendly community. And so, we, again, we repair bikes. If you have bikes at home that are broken, that need repair, that are in good shape, we love to take them. We have incredible volunteers that fix up the bikes and get them right into the hands of people who need them to go to work, to go to their appointments, and to live their lives. Well, when you see the tears outside of Amnesty Court and the big smiles, you know how important it is to our veterans who have been suffering without being, without being able to pay their fines and costs. We find that people are not callous to that. They want to pay their fines and costs, but when it comes down to eating or paying rent, you know, they that have to make those priorities and those fines and court costs build and build. And so it really gives them a big ticket back to having a normal life again. Well, you can go on our website at www.tpmanatee.org. Come down, come down to Turning Points. I tell people all the time that's where the magic happens. Come see it in person. If you're thinking about volunteering, come down, meet our volunteer director, take a tour of the facility, and see what's a good fit for you. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, oh, the ramparts we Watch were so gallantly streaming in the rugged regular, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. And we are so excited. Turning Points couldn't be more honored to be hosting the Manatee County Veterans Stand Down for the 24th year. Woo! The Veterans Stand Down is an opportunity for our community to connect with veterans who are experiencing homelessness and those who are at risk. It's a chance to break down the barriers that are keeping our heroes on the streets. And I want to thank the 38 service providers who are here this morning to offer help to our local veterans and to our neighbors in need and to all the individuals who've been working to put this event together. But it's not just about the services. It's also about the community. Over the past six months, as we put this event together, one thing rang clear from our volunteers, from our partners, from our community. Our veterans were there for us when we needed them. We need to be there now that they need us no veteran left behind. I'm going to challenge you this morning, because it's going to be busy. It's going to be busy out here, lots going on, but I'm going to challenge each of you to slow down a little bit today, thank people for their service, ask them their story, 
connect, get to know someone. We have some pretty incredible neighbors here in our community. Let's show them that we are a community that cares. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Kathleen. Good morning, everyone. And it's it's uh, kind of overwhelming looking out here and, and really understanding what what you're going to do today and how we're going to help our community. And when you look, my family with my grandchildren is seventh generation Manatee County. So knowing that there's this many people that want to come out and help shows what a loving and caring community we have. And as you get into different um, avenues, politics, volunteering, you know. All year long, you're out there helping. But today is probably one of the most important days as we help our homeless veterans, especially, as well as any other homeless, to be out there and get an opportunity to change their life more today than we do in the past. And when we can say we can help that one person, you know, when you're in any organization, if you can help one person, that then helps 10 people, then helps 100 people. And I just want to, I'm honored to be here to speak today in front of you, the volunteers, to get this started, and hopefully we could change that 10,000 people's lives today from what you do. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart as a seventh generation Manatee County, as well as in the position I'm in as mayor now to make a difference for our community. So thank you very much. And obviously Turning Point is such an important and great organization exactly. in the city of Bradenton, in Manatee County, and we just thank them for what they do. And from the standpoint of government and my part of it, we will always keep working with it to make it better. And if we can do that every day, we will change those lives. So thank you very much, and, and have a great day changing others' lives. Appreciate it. Um, my name is Tina Brown. And we're the, with the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps Maritime Eagles Division. It's important for uh, cadets to serve. Um, we are here to serve. Serve our country, serve our community, and serve our families. Um, I think it's just like a really good thing to come out and help the people who served our country and protected our country. And um, I really enjoy doing this because we get to help them when they're in need. So um, I really appreciate doing that. Or it's like very like heartwarming to be able to give back to the people who served our country and now we get to give back to them after they've helped us so much. Um, it's great to be able to give back to those that have served our country and helped us and also a lot of us have personal connections to the armed forces so it's great to see other to be helping others. We typically hand out sleeping bags, sleeping mats, boots, backpacks, canteens, anything that veterans may need to support them and it depends on their status of living with which what they'll be given out. It's a it's a sense of satisfaction. We're all in this together and we need to take care of each other. It gives our youth a place that they can really start preparing to be an adult and have a career and a, a career in service, an actual career such as um, a core, uh, medical career or engineering or um, carpentry or pilots. Um, we just have so much to offer and they get a little taste of several different careers before they're 18 so that when they leave us at 18 that you won't hear, I really don't know. They, you will hear, I'm going to the military, I'm going to become a doctor, I'm going to become an engineer. They're sure of what they want to do at 18. My name is uh, Jack Ruark. I'm the Senior Veteran Services Counselor for Manatee County, and we're here today to take care of all our veterans. Well, we have about at least 100 homeless veterans that we know of, and many other veterans who need assistance. And we're here to provide that assistance, whether it be assistance with getting their federal benefits, their state benefits, or their local benefits. And we can take care of most of those. If we can't, we refer out to all these other agencies that are here today. But everybody here today is here for one goal and one cause, and that's to take care of our veterans. If you come into Manatee County Veterans Services, we're going to do what we call a benefits review on you. We're going to find out where you serve, when you serve, what you did in the military, and then we're going to go through a list of benefits that you may qualify 
four, including pension, education, non-service connected disabilities, health care, housing, whatever your needs are that we determine in that interview, we're going to help uh, fulfill your needs. Yes, sir. They can give us a call. We're, we're right now, we're currently booked out about two months. So you definitely want to give us a call, set up an appointment. Uh, we will tell you what to bring and we can, uh, we can actually do, if you don't want to come in, we can do phone appointments. We can do phone interviews also because a lot of veterans have transportation challenges or because of COVID and other things, they don't want to come in the office. So we can actually do those over the phone as well. They can give us a call. Our number is 941-745-3795. They can also stop by the office. We're at 1401 3rd Avenue West, downtown Bradenton. They can stop by the office and schedule an appointment. We do take walk-ins. However, sometimes we're very busy and we can't see you. But if you come in and walk in and we can't see you, we'll set up an appointment with you. Well, we're tasked with taking care of the 50,000 veterans in Manatee County. And our job is to make sure every veteran gets their benefits that they've earned through their military service. And that's our mission. Well, I think obviously you see the number of volunteers that are out here today doing things with all the different organizations. But as we go through things and try to figure out, you know, how we can help others. And when you're helping others, you're doing th good things for the community. And when you have veterans in need, and obviously today is mostly about the veterans, but it's going to be about anybody that's, that's in need and maybe homeless or turning, that can get services that they normally wouldn't be able to get. And I think with the volunteers and what Turning Points is doing is such a great organization to keep things moving forward. Right. When you look at the services that are out there that maybe they don't know about on a daily basis and they can get, but if, if you have dental problems, if you have vision problems, that may affect you from then getting some um, jobs that you might want to get or get services that can help you. And when you come out here today, you could actually find those services, the health services, the the job services, and just people helping people. And that's what I think will ultimately come down to showing somebody that, hey, this community cares. And, you know, sometimes we work through things as government. You try to help, but then others, when the community really try to help. Well, as people got here, it was dark. You know, it was, it was truly dark, and it's just barely the sun's coming out. And when you look at the number of people that want to help others, and, and Manatee County, City of Bradenton, City of Palmetto, all of our beach islands, there's a lot of people that want to help others. And, you know, when the services are hard to get to, the veterans don't know what to do. Today gives them that venue to maybe find that service that will continue on to then maybe make them find a way that they can change their life. They served our country, now let's us serve them. Well, I think the most important message is care about other citizens and also do the right things when you can help. And you know, it's not every day that somebody can come out and maybe volunteer, but if you can get that one day to volunteer or that 365 days, whatever you can, care about others, work for others, and do what's right. It's so important because so many of our clients are veterans and we're so thankful for the service that they've provided um, and, and many of them have fallen on hard times. They've either come out of the service with challenges that most of us can't even begin to imagine or as they are veterans of earlier wars now struggling with longer term health issues. Um, just all of that and it's so important to recognize that service to keep that at the forefront of our community's mind and then to make sure that they get the services that they not only need but they deserve. Yeah, Turning Points has a great variety of services. I think many in our community don't realize how extensive those are um, from providing showers for those who are homeless, a mailing address, which is essential to be able to get a job, getting IDs to 
computer labs and phone access and housing assistance, just, and then the medical and dental clinic, which are incredible services to our community. It's, it's essential and it's so needed. There are so many gaps. Trying to access care in any community is always a challenge. And so we like to think of, of us as an open door to get people to understand what services they're eligible for and to give them an easy access to those services. The, the need is growing. We know from the last point in time survey that homelessness in Manatee County is up 25%. And of those, 67% of those are first time homeless, which means that people are no longer able to afford our housing market. I've, I, I work at the front desk at Turning Points one day a week, and I can tell you that the stories that people come in who were paying $1,500 in rent and now their rent has gone up to $2,700 a month, it's not sustainable. And so we have to do better in our community. We have to get creative and think about how do we keep those who are vulnerable or on the, the cusp of being vulnerable, how do we keep them an engaged part of our community? Um, I think what, what's important for us is that most of Turning Points is volunteer driven. We have a staff of about 29 people and about 1,500 volunteers. Um, but it takes a good 300 volunteers a month to provide those services. We have a food stamp access. That's all volunteer run. The mail room is all volunteer run. Our medical services have volunteers as well. Um, so, you know, if, if people are looking for an opportunity to give back to our community, volunteer. We always, always would welcome that. I was in the U.S. Air Force from, uh, for four years, then I went in the Army. I was in the Army for six years, and then I finished up my last 12 in the Navy. Um, well, these people that are here today, they did their part, and some of them need a leg up or they need help, and it's nice to give back, for us to give back and help our brothers and sisters. Who I Actually, at this event, in the last couple of years, the number I've seen here is down, which I take that as a good sign. You know, so I think that's fantastic. And one of the best things I think is the adjudication at the courthouse. Uh, these, a lot of these folks, because of their circumstances, get these minor crimes. Since they're not, don't have an address, they tend to miss their court dates. They come up. I've seen people coming in with all kinds of charges, all kinds of arrest warrants, and they're pretty much for a minor offense and then court dates. Well, we can help them out by adjudicating them, getting them off the record, and it helps us out because it clears our court docket, getting all this deadwood out. Too. Right. Well, we have the county services, veteran services. It's, uh, we have pretty decent service, been my experience. They've got given me a lot of help with my VA things and stuff like that, so I appreciate that. And... Uh, the events like this and Turning Point, they seem to help quite a, really help these folks out a lot, finding jobs, finding a place to live, getting set up. Notice that over the years. And some of the schools do an excellent job educating the kids on veterans' issues and things like that, and we need to keep that up. It's, it's significant, not just for Manatee County, not just for Palmetto, but for all of our veterans that represented us and defended us throughout the years. And uh, 
kept us with a life that we appreciate living. So um, we're, we're helping them out today. We're returning the favor, so to speak, as much as we can. There's all kinds of organizations here. There's volunteers from across the county. And they're supplying some of those much-needed necessities that each and every person needs. So it's really heart-rendering to come out and walk through the long lines of the different companies, corporations, uh, different volunteer organizations, not-for-profits that are here today, it just really touches your heart. At the end of the day, it says, thank you, veterans. We appreciate what you've done for us, and we love you. And one thing you find if you ever have to uh, get a new driver's license or y you don't have your birth certificate and you need to get a new driver's license, we've actually helped to guide people where to go. But having different things all here in one place um, if, you're, if you're homeless, if you're on hard times, all of that's more and more difficult for you. You just think about how you would get to all those different locations and, and wind your way through the bureaucracy, because it is. We try to do the best we can, but it is a bureaucracy. And it brings it right up front and personal with the different people that are here today, the veterans that are in need of so much. So it's a great day in Palmetto. You know, I think it just goes to the heart of who Manatee County is, what we're about. Um, we're a, we are a very giving, and I, I would have to say faith-based community. We're very patriotic, and we appreciate those that have helped us in the past, and we're just all trying to give back. So, you know, wh wh whether it's a donating something or whether it's calling one of the organizations to pick up some of your needs um, that, you're, that, you're disperse, that you're disposing of, um, you can go. You can go ahead and um, do that. But however you're donating, however you're helping, thank you and God bless you. I work at the VA healthcare system in the homeless programs and I supervise the contract shelters. So down here in the Bradington area, we have the Salvation Army that we help oversee and funnel our veterans through. These are great outreach events. They pull veterans in who may not be yet touched by VA or healthcare or homeless services and educates them. A lot of times it's a good one-stop shop where they can come and get all the services they need right here in one spot. It does. I was just sharing that with my team. Manatee is an amazing community. It's um, very tight-knit and it's so great to see so many people want to come together and help, especially on a day like today. So from VA today, we have persons from the benefit offices. We have the FDVA. We have Manatee Veteran Services. We have some of our wonderful partners and grantees. We have St. Vincent de Paul and Jewish and Family Services. And we could not do our work without these partners that are here providing services today. Well, these are services that can get veterans off the streets. There's also, you mentioned some great services. There's also employment services. So it's their avenue to get their hair cut, to find a job, to get the health care that they've needed for a while, to feel well and move on through life. The court is a highlight. So again, it, it gets rid of the barriers for the veterans. It reduces their criminal charges, sometimes it wipes fines that they've had for years. Once those fines are gone, they can move on. They can get a driver's license, which opens the door to work, which opens the door to an apartment. That is definitely one of the strongest resources here today. Um, just, we're, we're always here. There's no wrong door. We assist every veteran that comes across our table, um, whether it's linking them with the community resources or putting them in our own program. So just know that we are always here as VA, and again, we couldn't do it without the community. I, these are my favorite days. The standouts are really my favorite day of the year. It's great to see so many come together and so many veterans turn out to seek help.
Turning Points is one of our preeminent nonprofits in Manatee County, and I think what you see for City of Bradenton and Manatee County and how we support them and how they support us is really a testament to the work that they do and the proven track record they have for all the citizens of Manatee County. They provide services that we as a, a government, whether it's on the county level or city level, just can't provide to the efficiency that they can. And we're incredibly fortunate to have an organization like Turning Points here in our county. It's a critical part to focus on our homeless veterans, our homeless in general, because everyone in Manatee County is a citizen of Manatee County. And we need to take care of everybody. And different people need different levels of care. And having events like this, having organizations like this, having services available like this shows everybody in Manatee County that if you're here, we'll take care of you. You're part of our community, we want you to be a part of our community. And we're hoping to help you take a step up and become even more of an important part of growing Manatee County the way we know it can be. And by leaving people behind, that does a disservice to everyone else in our county. And that's not who we are. Manatee County, City of Bradenton, City of Palmetto stands up for its citizens. And we always have, we always will. Homeless is a problem every place, not just in Manatee County, but it is something we've been taking more of a, a focal point on at different levels. We started a few years ago with an outreach uh, deputy for the Manatee Sheriff's Office to go out and meet with the homeless, find out what they need, how we can help them. This past year, we funded a second outreach deputy to continue expanding our reach to speak with everybody. We're providing more fundings. We're working more with turning points. We just recently increased their budget to allow them to get two more case managers on site because what we're seeing in this economy trickles down and it impacts everybody. So that's more people who are gonna need these services, more people who unfortunately, maybe otherwise wouldn't have become homeless that now are possibly going to be running into that situation. And the best way to solve homelessness is not to allow someone to become homeless in the first place. So that's really where we're trying to stop the bleeding is keeping people in their homes, keeping people with the services they need so they don't run into a situation. But if they do, we're here for you and we're gonna help you get out of it. I think it says a couple of things. First off, it shows that Turning Points isn't standing alone in this. If you walk around, and I've already been out into Veterans Hall, you have MCR in there. You've got Career Source in there. You've got Center Point in there. You've got uh, Center Stone in there. You've got all kinds of nonprofits helping you, whether it be from a medical standpoint, a housing standpoint, an employment standpoint. Everybody in Manatee County works together. And, and I think that's what people see when they get here. Now, you don't see that in every other community, but we all circle together to help our citizens. And this is a testament to that by having everyone come out early in the morning to help all of you. It's very important for MCR to be represented at this event, and we love participating every year, and as you stated, for many years. We have so many and a vast array of services that will help each and every veteran, homeless individual, or anyone that needs help and has not been able to uh, uh, have the means to do so, uh, may not have the money to be able to afford specialists, we have our primary care physicians that can take care of blood pressure problems. Uh, they can take care of cholesterol. They can take care of any of the primary care needs. But more importantly, we have specialists. Our specialists, we've added orthopedic surgery uh, for those people that have really bad hips and knees. We have podiatry that can take care of any of their foot and ankle problems. Uh, we also have interventional cardiology as well as cardiology for those people that we call uh, limb salvage individuals, those people that have really, really poor circulation. And that really uh, encompasses our diabetic population. So we're looking to try to prevent those types of amputations that occur. We're looking to prevent the hospitalizations and the ER visits with our specialists. Uh, we've added um, pulmonology for those individuals with COPD and asthma and those types of things. Uh, we have dermatology. We have those individuals with hep C and HIV. Uh, so we have a vast array of specialists that can help in just about every area. Uh, soon we'll be bringing on ophthalmology and GI services.
Well, we, we really love the support of all the organizations here, and I think it serves a, the greater good and a greater mission to be able to take care of those who may not be able to take care of themselves. And working with Turning Point uh, has been tremendous. We're looking to further that collaborative relationship going forward, and we hope that we can even be a stronger force for the community together that we can be separately. Well, the easiest way is to go on our website, MCR. Uh, dot health. Uh, you'll find all of our physicians, our sites, and our services. Uh, if you're looking for, uh, you can call our main office, which is also listed, and you'll be directed to the exact location that is near your home or your place of residence. My name is Shane Lindegren. I'm the instructor, the barber instructor here at Manatee Technical College. I'm actually a resident here in Manatee County, born and raised, went to school locally here. I also am a student from Manatee Technical College, so alumni as well. Um, and I'm here today helping out and volunteering with some of the barbers that have volunteered as well. All these students are from Manatee Technical College. There's 15 or 16 total, I think, and we might have a few more strag straggle in after that. Quite a few, good turnout. Giving back, we stress that a lot in the class community. Giving back to the community, the right thing to do. When they get into a lot of shops, a lot of local barber shops, they do this already at some scale. We've done this as a school multiple years over the time, and it's a tradition for us here at Mansi Technical College. So a lot of the students, not only are they getting to work with the veterans for a good cause, they're getting reps, you know, practice. They get to take their theory and their practical and put it into practice today. So in dealing with their anxiety, and their fears, they get to also talk to some great people today. So, Well, a lot of these students have only just started school. They started in August of this year. So a lot of the students that are here volunteering three months into the program of a 900-hour program. So that's an, an eight-month course, and they're on month three, completed three already. So they're still rookies, if you want to think of it that way. But they're doing very well so far. Me, personally, I enjoy when somebody gets their hair cut and you see the, the difference that you put on it, the smile on their face. Earlier there was a gentleman here laughing it up with his guys. So the barber's not only, the haircut's almost lost. It's the actual interaction between the people. There's a lot of relationships going back and forth. They get to understand their name and where their, what their story is, their background. Um, and that, to me, the relationship, the interaction is just maybe sometimes more than the actual haircut itself. So. Giving back to the community is a very important part of what we do at the school, as well as what they'll probably do, honestly, if their career is going to be in barbering, they're going to do this forever. So, yep. Well, they can go online. They can look us up online. You can call the school as well. We provide these services during the day and during the week. So all these barbers are available during the day. You can call, make an appointment, walk into the school as well. Um, and they provide these services all day long top-notch. The quality of instruction at Manatee Technical College is top-notch. It's second to none. And if you if you go and just take a tour of it, I challenge you. I'd welcome you to come over and look. I, my statement would be backed up. If you walk through, the instructors, are they love what they do. You can see the passion in the instruction between theory, practical, and the classroom. And if you just look at the facility, it's, it's up there. It's nice. Very nice. It's a great event. It's been here 24 years with 38 uh, sponsors of, of services for veterans and homeless. I'm a big advocate of uh, veterans and homelessness. homelessness. Homelessness is a serious problem and it's becoming more and more every day. I see it, more people coming here because of the weather and landing here and we're going to have to start providing more and more services and these volunteers are great because people that volunteer don't get paid, they're doing it for their own. And let me say this.
I'm a family of veterans. My great-great-grandfather is a veteran of the Civil War, probably one of the oldest veterans organizations there is. That's kind of where it started, is the Civil War. My uncle fought in Normandy, D-Day. They both survived the Civil War and World War II, and so I am a family of veterans, 100%. Well, there's two major things. Uh, homelessness for everybody and the veterans is a critical state right now. So we're going to have to find housing and transitional housing in the interim. But we have to have services that keeps them off the street and maintain their quality of lifestyle. And we do that through social services. We do that through affordable housing. We do that by having events like this to recognize them. Because I, I grew up in a period of time of the Vietnam War. And when they came back, nobody was there to greet them. Well, those days are gone. We're not going to allow that to happen again without public input. Yes, we're with Lippert Corporation, and our local uh, facility here, our team members are very, very dedicated to volunteering for community events, and we really, really wanted to do this event. Well, our vol volunteering activity, we help direct them, we help guide them, we talk to them, and make them feel important. We really, again, want to help the community, and the veterans and the homeless is something that we feel we can offer some support. We'd like to thank the veterans for all their service and for being there to give us our freedom. It gives us an opportunity to help those homeless, uh, many of them veterans who are in need. Many of them choose to stay, uh, we used to say under the bridge, but here it's in the bushes. But it gets them out and it's better for the community that we bring them in once a year, give them their flu shot, their whatever shots are available, that makes the community healthier. We have the Veterans Court. It gives them uh, an opportunity to get rid of uh, the trifling, uh, walking on the grass type uh, offenses that they have been charged with. Oh, I think it's really great, everything they have lined up here. Um, I was here last year, the second year attending it, and uh, it's, it's really, really neat to see the community come together to help, help the veterans out. I think it's awesome. Um, Turning Points is a great organization, as well as all the other community partnerships in the area. Um, I personally rec um, represent Career Source Suncoast, and we help veterans um, overcome significant barriers to employment. So we're hoping to give them some opportunities to help them find employment and, you know, do a hand up. And that's really what we're here for. Well, uh, veterans are those uh, men and women who have chosen to serve their country to make everyone safer and better. Uh, speaking of turning points, Adele Rozier, recognized by the Manatee County Veterans Council as Civilian of the Year several years ago for her superb work in bringing together the various food, various services that were around and bringing them all under one roof and then building it to where Turning Points is today.
thank you to everyone who made this incredible veteran stand down possible this year. We are excited that we have served today all of our vendors out here, all of our community members, our elected officials, our sponsors, everybody who made it possible. Thank you so much for putting in your heart and your work to make this possible. We are here changing lives today and, and we just can't thank our community enough. We're excited to come back next year for our 25th annual Manatee County Stand Down.